Hi everybody. It's Tiffany with Ready, Set, Crop. Thanks for joining me in the virtual craft room. I am recording this on Facebook Live on uh, Tuesday, February 7th, and then it will go on to my YouTube channel for the replay. So thanks so much if you're joining me here live. I appreciate it, and if you're catching the replay, welcome, glad to have you here. I am going to be using um, the multi-pocket pages tonight to create my first layout um, for my 2023 album. Um, these pocket pages are similar to the regular Creative Memories pages in that they have the jeeping so that you can put them into your Creative Memories album. They are just divided pockets. So you get three horizontal four by six and two vertical four by six spots. And you get a package of 12, um, just like you do the regular pages. So I just pulled one out that I'm gonna to use tonight. And if you've seen me do any of these pages before, um, I do a pocket page for every month of the year. And they're just my regular everyday um, photos that I put on Instagram or Snapchat. They're not photos that I would necessarily do a whole layout about. They're just kind of everyday moments. So this is gonna be my January page. I'm gonna to try to stay on track this year and as soon as the month ends, figure out the photos I'm gonna use and get them in the album. So I'm just gonna trim my photos first and then I can get started. My cat is coming to join us. <laughs> See if you'll walk across the screen as I'm crafting. Oh, <laughs> hi Michelle, hi Judy. Thanks for joining me. I printed all my photos as three by fours. That gives me a chance to fit a few more in my album. <laughs> Pardon the cat. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, jeez. Sorry, that's Maxwell. If you have a cat, you know how they are with paper. They like to be in on the action. <laughs> so I pulled out the Serenity collection. Let me give you a quick peek at these. I'm not actually going to use any of the full size papers for this. I'm just going to use the mats, but I wanted to show you. These are beautiful papers in really pretty shades of like a dusty blue and a sage green and like a very pale lavender, kind of a dusty lavender with some kind of hints of gray in here too. Really, really pretty papers. So I will definitely be using these because they're just kind of nice papers that you can use for lots of different projects. Um, but tonight I'm just going to be using the cards, but I wanted to show you those papers. So I pulled out the cards and you know when you're doing these pockets part of the process that takes me the longest is choosing which cards to use so I did that ahead of time so that you didn't have to go through that process with me so I already pulled out several that I wanted to use but you can see the cards are all going to coordinate with the papers this whole kit is a lot about relaxing and self-care there's a nice quote about self-care and then just some really nice serene um, papers these are great for doing titles and for journaling but I already chose these that I'm going to use tonight and what I do when I do the pocket pages is I just kind of do one pocket at a time as if it's its own little mini scrapbook so I'm going to start with this heart right here And this photo, let's see, which one am I using? 
this one of my daughter and I when we went out for dinner. Well, it's just her in the photo, but um, that's what I'm gonna start with. And for this, I'm going to fussy cut the heart because I want to be able to make that stand out and kind of overlap the photo a little bit. So I'm just going to quickly hand cut this. Hi Gail, hi Dottie, thanks for joining me. So like I said, this will go in my regular album. I will have one for each month of the year. And then my normal 12 by 12 layouts will be in between. So it'll be January, then my January layouts, and then my February pocket, and then my February layouts. Um, so they're all just kind of mixed in together. So I'm gonna grab another card that I'm not using. I'll save this. It comes with four by six white cardstock in each one. I'm gonna set those aside. I'm not using them for tonight's layout, um, but I'll use them for mats for another layout. So I'm gonna take this one here and put the photo, oh, I don't know. I think I want something a little bit more solid. If possible. Let's see. I think I'll do that one. No, oh, I think I'll do the blue. And I'm just gonna trim that down because it comes with two different size pockets. So I'm going to trim this down to four by six. I need my bigger trimmer so I can measure the six inches. going to put this here and then I'm going to put this here. Now this is going to serve as the title for the layout as well. So it's kind of the, it's going to say January 2022 because I want it to, um, I'm sorry, 2023 because I want it to be kind of the title of the beginning part of the, of that album. Um, so I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm gonna grab this blue gray. Just doing a really quick title. And now I'm gonna grab my foam squares and pop that up. I think actually I'm gonna take a little bit of washi tape. I pulled out my washi tape ahead of time to see if I had any that coordinated. And this light purple I thought was pretty. So I'm just gonna put a little line of that along the photo and I keep a credit card this is just one that came in the mail I keep it in with my washi tape because it makes it really easy to tear the edge you can use your scissors too but it gives you a really clean line. Now I didn't do it on the other side, so I gotta trim that with my scissors. And now I'm going to just pop that up. Now 
Now I still have room here if I wanted to do a little bit of journaling. I don't tend to do much journaling in my pockets because it's just quick little snapshots of life. But if I wanted to, you know, put the date, say where we were, that kind of thing, I could do that. So I'm just gonna slide this one in here. I cut it a little bit too big, but it's gonna slide in there, no problem. There's my first pocket. Okay, my next one is this one here. We went to Ikea. So it's just a picture of the kids at Ikea. And I pulled this card here so that I can do my journaling on the vertical lines. And then I'm gonna cover this up. And I'm gonna take the scrap from this card that I cut the heart from, and I'm just gonna trim a little piece to use on there. And I'm just covering up these lotus flowers because what I want are these lines so that I can do the journaling. Because this was a trip to Ikea, but it was like a scouting mission because um, Wesley is heading to grad school in the summer and he and his girlfriend were kind of furniture shopping for a potential apartment. So it was kind of a, a fun excursion. So now for this one, I have a lot of empty space along here. And so I'm going to use my double rickrack chain that just came in today, I'm super excited. And I'm gonna do a quick little border for this here. So I'm gonna move this out of the way just so that I don't get anything on it. And I am gonna take out some paper. I'm gonna take this green like that one. The punches, um, a border is a great way to just add a little something to the card, dress it up. And this double rickrack is so cute. I don't need the whole thing, but I might as well just punch the whole thing. And I'll save the rest of it for something else. I'm sure you will see it in another layout in a day or two. <laughs> All right, slide that aside. Pull this card back over. So I'm just gonna put two of these across the bottom. Yeah, isn't it pretty? And this is another one that it's just so versatile. You could use this for anything. Um, you know, Rick Rack is just a fun shape. So I'm just using my um, removable adhesive so it will only stick to the border. And I'm gonna put one down here. From that. And I'm going to put the second one, just layer them like that. Then that gives me plenty of spots here to do my journaling. And my second card is done. Okay, for my third one, I have these two pictures of the kids at home. Um, Eliza was knitting, and then another night they were hanging up some wall art for me. So it's just kind of around the house. And I did not pick out a card for this one either.
think I could do that green. Yeah, it's a great cartridge. Um, I I have uh, 13 people in my border maker club, so I had a box just with all of the cartridges because I have everybody's, all the club members' cartridges that they had ordered. I was really excited, but it's such a pretty border. Oops, I didn't get that all the way. That's better. I'm going to trim these photos down a little bit. My daughter kind of taught herself how to knit over, over the holidays and she has been knitting up a storm. So I'm going to overlap these like that. any funny thumping it is my cats they are going crazy chasing each other up and down the stairs I my craft room is in the basement and they are having the best time so this card I am going to trim and use as a border across the bottom of my page And I pulled out some twine. So before I stick it down, I am going to just run a quick loop of twine around here. And this is just a light green that I thought would look nice with this. I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple of times and then tie a knot. If I can. <laughs> I like adding little things like twine and washi tape and things like that to each card just to make make it a little bit more interesting. Pop that down. I'm gonna grab that same blue-gray pen and I'm just gonna write around the house. Yeah, knitting is not my thing either, Michelle. There are lots of crafty things that I like to do. Knitting is not one of them. So she made her best friend a scarf for Christmas um, and she made a hat last week and now she was at Michael's last night picking up supplies for something new. I don't remember. Oh, fingerless gloves, I think is what she's doing next. Um, you know, she's one of those, she sets her mind to it and she'll figure it out and I can't read a pattern to save my life, so I am I'm hopeless when it comes to that. Okay, my next one is um, the kids and their best friend, and then, so it's Wesley and Eliza and Wesley's best friend, John, but then they also have his big head from sports and then a picture of, I don't know what was going on. This was New Year's Eve, so who knows? But I just love this photo. I thought it would be a good one to go in the album. And I pulled the purple card for this one. And what I love, what makes this process really easy is when you use cards from a coordinating kit because then it's all, it's all done for you. You don't have to think about, does this match? Does this go? It's really makes it really, really simple. I 
Oh, you crochet? Yeah, I, I haven't done either. I cross stitch. That's what I like to do. And to me, cross stitching is super simple. And other people say, oh my gosh, cross, -stitch, cross stitching is so difficult. So, you know, everybody's got their thing. All right, I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to take a piece of this white and just mat this photo on white. And this is um, New Year's Eve, like I said. So when I pulled out my washi tape, I had gold washi, oops, that said Happy New Year. It's not the greatest quality washi tape and it's been around my craft room for a long time. And I don't know what the lifespan is of these washies sometimes. Let me see if I can get some pulled off here. If I can't, then we'll just have to ditch it. But I have found that some of my washies are not um, working very well anymore. All right, there we go. We got some. And I pulled out these big stickers that I know you've seen me use a couple of times. I figured since this is New Year's Eve, well, they're so shiny. I'm going to just put NYE New Year's Eve on here. So. These are very cheapo stickers I got at Dollar General. They're not good quality. So if you put them down and they're not where you want them to be, you're out of luck. If you try to pull them up, you will rip the sticker or rip the paper. So um, <laughs> I bought them for some special project that I needed them for, but they're not great. They're super shiny. Okay, there's my photo. I'm gonna put it kind of crooked. Just put a little bit of this washi across there. And a little bit across the bottom. Okay. Tuck that one in and last, last one. So what I will do afterwards is I'll um, go back and add dates where necessary, but really it's all January, so particular dates aren't that important, honestly. Um, but if I feel like I need to have the dates, I'll put them on here. Now this one was, um, you had to throw out a lot, Michelle? Yeah, um, I've had to throw out a lot of washies myself. Um, this photo is, we went and got pedicures a couple of weeks ago, and it was Eliza, Wesley's girlfriend and I and then we convinced Wesley to come with us and he had never had a pedicure before and you can see his face in this he was terrified he was so nervous um, he when we got out of the car he's like is this gonna hurt he was so worried that it was gonna hurt <laughs> and I said if it hurts there's something wrong <laughs> this is supposed to be relaxing and then he put his feet in the water and he was it was just really funny so I'm using this card that says, this is what relaxed looks like, which is just humorous to me because he's kind of anything but relaxed in the photo, but he, he enjoyed himself. He, he learned to relax. 
once he got over the fear. <laughs> oh, let me show you, because I just pulled out my circle cutter. I got the new small pods, the small pod that came out, and I just ordered it to try it out, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna use it for. Well, it is perfect for all of these things. So I put my custom cutting system in here, and my blades, and then I have my corner rounder, and I've got my multi-purpose tool that I keep in there, and I'll usually throw my scissors in, so it's just like a good little um, container for those. I never knew what to do with my custom cutting system. I had all those different circles and ovals and everything, and I never knew where to put them. So I was really excited to get that and put it to good use. So I am going to trim this down. I was gonna use this card, but it feels like it's blending in too much. So I'm gonna maybe try this one. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna have it go off the edge and then I'm just gonna flip it over and trim this, the excess. And for this one, I'm gonna take the edge of my scissors and run it all the way around just to give this a little bit of texture. Oops. And I'm gonna do a little outlining around the photo. And then I'm gonna pop this one up as well. It just gives it a little bit more interest when you pop something up like that. Pop this one in the last pocket. And there you go, my January pocket, pocket page is complete. So this will go right in my album and then I'll be ready to get started on my 2023 album. I love the colors of this. I think it is so pretty. Um, I have pulled out the stickers intending to add some of those, but I think there's enough going on here, honestly. And once I add my journaling and I'll do a little journaling here, I don't really think that it needs it, but um, I'll show you the stickers real quick. Some really nice, um, really nice stickers here. So I could add like family, oh, the at home would be nice, self-care. Oh, I'm gonna pull the self-care and I'm gonna put that on this one here. because pedicures are definitely self-care. Like that. Let's see if there's anything else I wanna add. Pull the at home. And I'm gonna put this right on there. So I will definitely be using these stickers with all of those papers. They're so pretty. Um, maybe I need to go and get another pedicure just so I can do a, a nice self-care page for myself. <laughs> 
Um, but that's it for my pocket pages. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for um, watching with me. And if you ever want to give the pocket pages a try, it's a lot of fun. You get 12 um, pages in in the um, in the kit. So um, there's a lot to use. So the other side will be February that I will do next. So thank you so much for watching and I have, hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.